Okay, everybody, we are going to go ahead and start this. Um, our presenter today will be Darren Kelly, the account manager at Ingenious. He will be running the webinar, and we will be, if you have any questions, just type them into the question box, and we will have all of those answered at the end of the presentation. And I'm going to go ahead and relinquish control over to Darren. Okay, great. Thanks, Crystal. Uh, good morning, everybody. Again, uh, my name is Darren Kelly. I'm from Ingenious Technologies. I think, um, like Crystal mentioned, if you do have any questions, just feel free to type them in, and we'll definitely address those at the end. Or um, we can obviously get a list of anybody, um, emails or phone numbers. We can always follow up with people as well. So I'm not sure how many people are familiar with Ingenious Technologies. We are a manufacturer of um, high-powered access points, routers, bridges. And we also have this uh, phone, a high-powered phone, which I'll touch on really, really quickly because I know you people, you probably don't, from what I understand, they don't do a lot with uh, phone systems, but I kind of just want to gloss over that real quick. So the theme with Ingenious before I get going is, like I said, I'm not sure how many people are familiar, we're high-powered, long-range. So what does that mean? And I'll reiterate this over and over again. We're typically about four times the range of uh, typical access points out there. And the way we're able to get it is the power. So just to kind of give you a benchmark, the FCC legal limit per se, I believe is a, um, not believe, it's a, about a gig, one gigawatt. And our units run at 800 milliwatts. So we're kind of like right below the FCC limitation. And with that, we're able to get incredible coverage, incredible range. And I'll kind of go into some of the nitty gritty of what our products do. So again, this is um, Ingenious Technologies, a little company overview, some of the uh, you know marketing slides here. And when I hit the screen, I was playing around with the screen earlier. Unfortunately, it does go kind of slow. So bear with me when I hit the uh, enter screen. We tested this earlier. It was working. Why is it not working now? Let me see. This was working earlier. Um, Should be working. I'm not sure why we're not working here, Crystal. Uh, we just tested this earlier. Um, hmm. Just tested this. Crystal, can you give me control of the screen again? Yeah, you don't. Let's see here. I know we tested this earlier. I apologize, you guys. This was just working a minute ago. So. Okay. Do you have it now? It's not. Weird. All right. Well, can you, Crystal, can you toggle the screen? Is that possible? Yeah, here? I can. Yeah, so absolutely. You, if you don't mind hitting the you next slide. Uh, hit the next slide. Okay. Okay. Well, did you just do that? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. For some reason, um, for some reason, I apologize. I'm not able to. We tested this earlier. For some reason, I'm not able to hit the screen. So, all right, Crystal, yeah. So, I'm going to go over this really briefly. We have a um, we have these phone systems. They're really cool. They're like ultra long range. And Chris, you can hit the next slide. They're yeah. by long range. You're like you can literally take a phone in like from your home and walk like one or two miles down the street. So just kind of equate that to business purposes. I believe a lot of you folks are uh, resellers. If you have customers who you know have large warehouses, uh, retail stores. Um, assisted living hospitals where they need a cordless phone that can kind of walk around all kinds of range. We have a product that will do that. It's very unique. There's nothing really out there like it on the marketplace. It's an analog device. So a lot of the phones coming out these days are Wi-Fi, so you need access points, routers, controllers, that type of thing. Where ours, you can just basically plug the phone into your phone jack, you know, like at home or, or your PBX in your business, and walk around all these uh, distances. And as you can see, we kind of gave a couple examples, four miles line of sight, 3,000 acres, which is about 4.68 um, square miles, 12 floors of uh, building penetration. So again, I'm just going to touch on this really, really quick. So um, if you have, do you have questions about the phones, you know, feel free to you know, follow up with um, Microcom. They can ask, um, you know, they can funnel that through me. They do have access to our full line card, including the phone. So um, Chris, you go to the next slide. And this just kind of touches upon some of the phones that we do have. 
it's a freestyle one and two. This is our home user type phone. So if you ever have customers, small businesses, um, environments like that, just kind of gives you a little look at what they do. As, as you can see, um, you know, the illustration is comparing it to a deck phone, a cordless phone. This is like your traditional phone. And this is actually a home user type phone, so the distances are a little bit more scaled down. We do have an industrial strength phone, which is about um, significantly more distant. So, Chris, we can go to the next slide. Okay, I'm going to jump into our business networking product. This is where I'm sure you folks um, do the vast majority of your uh, business in the networking world. And like I said, we have a full line of um, access points, routers, switches, and bridges. So we kind of run the gamut of um, you know what the customers' needs are out there. So, uh, Chris, will you hit the next one. Again, indoor access points. So I'm going to touch on those first. What makes us different is we're high powered. So High power, long range, that's kind of the theme with Ingenious. Um, typical APs, and we have some more illustrations. I'll give you three floors of in-building penetration, ideal for schools, you know, hospitals, multi-story structures. Also have the ability to set up multiple SSIDs, pretty standard stuff. Um, we also have dual band, you know, wireless N. We have AC models. I'm not sure how familiar everyone is with AC. It's like the new standard that I think it's in ratification stage. So where N is 300 megabits per second, AC is going to be um, 1,300 megabits per second. I think it's actually 12, 1, 1, 2, 9, 9. So able to, what does that mean? You're able to transfer large files, video, those types of things. And what, uh, what we like to talk about in Genius is that we try to be a one-stop um, one stop shop. So you, know, you might get your access points, um, switch it somewhere else, camera somewhere else, router somewhere else. We do have the full lineup, and we are the manufacturer. So we actually do build all of our products, and we are one of the largest OEMs in the world. So we build for a lot of the um, a lot of the manufacturers that you see out there. We actually build for. Chris, you go to the next slide. And this just kind of illustrates our dual band and indoor AC products. Um, as you can see, it's kind of a unique design. It's kind of like a, a saucer type look. Um, going up the chain here, the entry level is the EAP 600. It's the um, dual radio, dual band, 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. Both bands are running on um, running at 300 megabits per second with the um, antenna scheme. We have coming in the pipeline the, the 900 and the 900H, which are going to have 450, 450, as well as a gigabit port with dual band. And then we're just going to keep going up. So like I mentioned earlier, the 1,300 megabits per second is the AC. So we're going to be getting right up to that come February time frame. So the 1,200 and the 1,750, we're hoping to have them all at the end of this year, but we're, we're about a month away. Uh, we go to the next slide. And as I get going, just so you guys know, I'm going to show you some illustrations of where our products are used. This is just like a really high-level overview so you can kind of see what our products look like if you haven't seen them before and kind of familiarize yourself a little bit with the part numbers. We don't have hundreds of part numbers. We probably have, you know, 20, 30, 40 part numbers. So if even that and of that, we probably have 10 to 15 that are really high volume movers for us. So this is our ceiling mount indoor access points. These are all the single bands. This is a strictly 2.4 gigahertz radios. These are all pretty much, these are all 800 um, milliwatt in terms of power. So the ones that I would really focus on are the EAP 300 and the 350. The 350 can actually do the 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz. The only difference is that these have, um, the 350 has a gigabit LAN port. These are ideal. Customers love these in like hotels, offices, um, warehouses. So as you can see, it's kind of a, um, we're one of the first ones to come out with a smoke detector design. And if you flip it upside down, it'll have the appearance of a smoke detector. So it's less apt to get stolen. It's unobtrusive. These are all um, PoE. Um, they come with a AC, the indoor units come with an AC adapter, and you have the ability to add a PoE um, 802.3 PoE injector, so you can plug them right into a PoE switch if necessary, if, if you'd like to go that route. So, um, we pretty good lineup on the indoor products. So, um, next slide, Crystal. This is just, again, illustrates some of the um, our, our newer products that I just spoke about. 
And uh, one thing I want to highlight on the right is this quantum beam technology. It's a, I'll go into a little bit more detail of a slide, but basically what it allows you to do is the access points are, you know, the way the, the technology is set up, it's kind of shooting out a signal in, you know, 360 degrees at a time. So this, you know, picture like um, going out everywhere at the same time. The quantum beam technology, what it does is that that signal goes out as your client is keying into that access point, it'll actually focus in on one particular beam or one particular stream and able to, you know, key in on that. So you're not like, you know, you're getting a lot of efficiency, you're getting a straight path, you're getting faster throughput, you're getting all the things that you're looking for, your customers are looking for to make things go faster and more efficient. So I'll have, I have another slide as I get into this further I can show you guys as well. So um, next slide, Crystal. Again, this kind of just illustrates a little bit more our EAP 350, um, 300. We um, can skip this one as well, Crystal. Well, I don't know. About, I, don't, I apologize. I don't know why that one was in there twice. I just noticed that. And we have on the flip side, we have our um, same type of deal. These are indoor units, desktop. But as you can see, there's just a different look. So they're basically the same type of product instead of the EAP, the ECB. It's just a uh, desktop version look. Some people don't like the ceiling mount. What also makes these really cool is that you can, as you can see, they have antennas that are upgradable. So if you're not getting the coverage that you're looking for, you can actually upgrade the antennas. So honestly, with our product, I honestly sell very, very, very few antennas because the coverage is usually um, enough. But there are times where, you know, maybe instead of going three floors, you might want to go four floors up. And maybe a, um, a higher gain antenna might be in order. So. Microcom, as one of our distributors, um, they do an excellent job from us. They, have, they stock all this product. So it's all pretty much readily available to ship same day for you, just FYI. In the ECB 600, it's the same idea as the EAP 600. It's just, again, it has like that spider look, desktop look with the uh, four antennas that allow you to get the two streams at 300 megabits per second on each stream. Um, next slide, please. So that covers our indoor products. So again, if you have any questions about our indoor products, you know, feel free to you know contact um, you know Microcom, contact myself directly. We work hand in I work hand in hand with the um, you know Microcom as well as resellers, end users. Um, I'm based in California, so you know we're able to travel if you need to see customers, help with designs, any of that stuff. We all kind of work together uh, real closely on that. Um, jumping into our outdoor access points and bridges. So again. Um, I'm sure you guys are familiar. You know, when the outdoor units, you typically look at a bridge, a couple buildings together. You know, instead of digging a hole, you set up a couple bridges. You also can set up, you know, campus type environments, um, coffee shops, you know, courtyards, things like that. So, and again, we just want to emphasize you can also sell these with our POE switches. So, um, next slide, please. This is our entry level outdoor access point. So these are our, um, you know, these are like our almost like our consumer type products. So these are going to get you probably sub eighty dollar price range. They're not high powered, unlike our units to look at in, um, in a little bit. These are in the four hundred milliwatt range. Still can get you fairly robust distances. You know, a mile plus on most of these. And these also have um, these IP sixty five. They're waterproof two Ethernet ports, you can use one for like a camera, you can use one for a PoE, you know, however you want to do it. So, um, next, next slide, Crystal. And these are the, the, the previous slide was our outdoor units with basically Omni antennas. So those antennas that you saw were, you know, Omni circular type coverage where these have the, as you can see, there's no antennas on them. They have the built-in directional antennas. So. These are designed for if you want to connect two buildings together, two offices, go across the street. Um, I'm not sure if you guys are probably familiar. If you are doing a bridging, um, clear, you, there are a couple of big requirements. One of them is clear line of sight is the biggest thing. They have to be seeing each other in order to create that bridge. So it allows you to basically connect two buildings, bring a network over from one building to another. If you have maybe five, ten users over there, um, you know, it's cost doesn't make sense to bring in um, Comcast or Time Warner or Fios and you know install the whole cable. You can just create a bridge using your existing network. 
And these will typically range as um, the 202 will get you about two about two miles, and the, um, probably a little less than two miles, and the 5 gigahertz is a little less than a mile. Um, 5 gigahertz is not going to get you as long a distance as the 2.4 gigahertz. It's just an RF rule in general. So that's just a little bit of FYI. Um, and although the 5 gigahertz is not as crowded as a band, it's not going to get you as far distance as a 2.4. 2.4 is typically maybe about double. Um, next slide, Crystal. And these are just, as we move up the chain here, these are some of our, as you can see, there are a lot more um, sturdy type access points. There are a lot of the enclosures are very heavy duty. So if you're looking at all these, these are um, our Omni type access points, so Omni like your circular type coverage. So these will be good for like your, you know, your courtyards, your, um, you know, your coffee shops, things like that, where the previous one you'd be connecting to buildings. So going up the chain here, the 200 EXT, it's, you know, it's probably not, our entry level product, I would focus more on the 210 EXT. It'll get you anywhere from about four to say 800 feet of circular coverage. So if you plop this in front of a um, building or something like that, it's, you could probably go about 400 to 800 feet out to the parking lot, something like that, and still get Wi-Fi. The 700 EXT is a dual radio design. So on one band, you'll have the 5 gigahertz. On the other band, you'll have the 2.4. So that's kind of ideal if you want to kind of create a bridge and rebroadcast at the same time. With the existing antennas, they're on these. So, you know, you're looking at maybe 600 feet to 1,200 feet between the bridging and rebroadcasting. If you were to add higher gain antennas, you can obviously get a lot longer. Directional antennas can get a lot longer. Um, the 900 EXT and 1750 EXT, those are going to be the newer AC. Well, 1750 is going to be the newer AC technology. And the 900 EXT is um, going to be the faster, 450 plus 450 on each of the streams. And again, they're both 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. So these are really cool. Their uh, cases are um, IP68, um, which basically means I'm not sure how familiar people are. That um, houses have different ratings. So there's like IP55, which can be like you know dust and things like that. And IP68 is actually can be dunked in up to 10 feet of water. So if you have customers who are like, hey, this is going to be in a hurricane, this is going to be near the ocean, this is going to be near, it's going to be a lot of snow, like in Wisconsin or Boston or something like that, um, these will be able to weather the, um, the elements very, very strongly. So uh, next slide, Chris. Yeah, this just jumps in a little bit more detail of the 1750 and the 900. So, yeah, this is where the technology is going. AC is, you know, just like ABGN, AC is you know here to stay. It's going to be um, faster, um, you know, faster, more efficient, those types of things. So we have a product set that's going to be in that. These are again coming up. We're about a month away. They are dual concurrent band, meaning that you can you know if you have a um, you have an environment where you have a courtyard and you know you have maybe 30 users on laptops and 30 users on iPhones, it's able to support you know, 30 users on 2.4, 5 gigahertz on the 5, I'm sorry, 30 on the 5 gigahertz. So about 60 users is the magic number for our stuff uh, and any typical time. So it doesn't mean if you get to 61, it's going to cut you off. It's just a typical type of uh, usage will get you about 60 users, 30 per radio. So next, um, next slide, Crystal. These are um, these skinny type units. These are this is our bread and butter. We sell a ton of these. This is kind of how we started. These are our outdoor bridges. So these are all, I think MSRP around 119, something like that. People use these to connect buildings all day long. So the two that people use the most are the 202 and the 500. So like that first slide is more of like a retail version, 400 milliwatt. These are um, higher milliwatt power. The 202, I believe, is 800, and the 5 BNH 500, I believe, is 500 milliwatt. Diesel, the 202 will get you about two miles. The 500 will get you about a mile. The 500 is used a lot with cameras. So I don't know if you have people ever doing IP cameras. People love this. Um, we have people buying this all day long with cameras. The solutions that are out there, they're just crazy in terms of pricing. We have some of the largest camera um, resellers in the country that are actually using that unit. 
they can't believe how inexpensive it is. We've done some benchmark testing here in California where we're able to get a mile of coverage at about 100 megabits per second. With a, that's with a mile. 202 similar type coverages, um, again, it's going to get you about two miles. The 2.4 is, as you probably know, a little bit more of the more crowded band and more and more people go into the 5 gigahertz or the dual band uh, scenarios because it's just more efficient. In the 200, that's like more of our entry level type product. So it's out there, it's available, but I wouldn't really focus on that one too much. Um, next slide. Yeah, jumping into switches. This is pretty cool. This is exciting for Ingenious. We're, this is, we've just been getting into switches probably since the summer, I guess. So again, it was like a logical thing for us to do. We are um, the manufacturer of the access points. We manufacture the radios. And you know, people who buy our radios or access points were asking us, hey, when are you going to call it your own switch? So we jumped into that market. I know there's a lot of players out there. So but the good news is the people who are buying our access points or like our access points, it's an easy, easy sell. So we, you know, we're very price competitive. We have the same type of feature set as our competitors. And um, you know, we should, it should be very, so far it's been very, very successful for us. Uh, so next slide, Crystal. Okay. So these are this. This is our product line right now. So we're pretty straightforward. We do have more types of products coming out in the coming months, uh, like a 48 port and things like that. But as you can see, it's pretty straightforward. We have the 5110. It's an eight port. It's the um, two SFP slots. It's 130 watt power budget. Um, then we have the EGS 21 OAP four port PoE. So you have four of the ports that are PoE, and it has the yeah 61 watt power budget. And then the 2110 is going to have the um, eight port PoE with the 61 watt power budget. And the 24 port we actually just came out with this recently, so it's actually literally shipping this month. So if you do have customers that are having availability issues with 24 port, we do have that on the market. Literally, it's like shipping like this week. So, and as you can see, we have both the um, uh, smart switch as well as layer. They're both smart and layer two, and they're both desktop and rack mount versions. So, it should be able to cover most of your uh, customers' needs. Uh, next slide. Again, this is kind of gives you a little bit of a roadmap. The specs we have are pretty much industry standard type stuff. So we have our smart switches, then our layer two for our 24 port. And with the smart layer two, you just have additional enhancements and features, um, management type things, port um, allocation, and things like that. So, um, next slide. And I'm going to jump into some of these slides. I'm not sure if you find these helpful or not. I, I usually do. This kind of you forget about all the things that go into a switch. So everybody needs switches, you know. And there's so many different devices that go in there. This is just like one little illustration into our A port. So you can see you have like a phone, you have an access point, you have your desktop computer, you have a camera, you have a, um, you know, we have a, a dome camera, all kinds of different devices that can plug into a switch. And we sell all of them pretty much. So um, with the exception of the phone, the phone is an analog device. So these types of slides I think are usually useful for me to kind of remind you of all the different things that can go into switches. Um, next one, Crystal. Again, this is just another little illustration of our 2110 or 2108 P. So you can see on the right um, all the different devices that go into the switch, and then on the left all the different devices that go into the switch as well. Um, next slide. Again, this is just another uh, illustration of some of the things talking about our our switches as they work with our IP cameras and our access points. And I'm going to go into a little bit more of the cameras in a second. So. Um, next slide, Kristen. We're also getting into cameras. So we have, so we went over the um, indoor access points, outdoor access points, switches, and now we're, um, we're gonna, I'm going to talk briefly about the cameras. Cameras is another, uh, it's going to be a very um, exciting market for us. We had, again, we had our customers asking us, they were buying our bridges. So we came up with the camera. So it's been in development for the past couple of years, and we're literally going to market in probably February, in the February time frame. So um, next, next slide, Kristen. 
just kind of give you a little uh, little illustration of some of what they look like, um, the dome, the box, and the uh, next one, Crystal. Yeah, so we have we're gonna have the box, the bolt, the dome type um, the, those types of looks, which are kind of industry standard type of looks. So we're gonna probably play in the lower, um, you know, the entry level type market. That's where that's where we're gonna start with it at least. As you can see, it has a lot of the features that people look for: wide dynamic range, uh, motion detection, uh, focus assist button, um, three axis design on the dome camera. You know, a lot of um, MJPEG with free streaming, so it's a lot of the stuff that is out there. I believe we're using the Sony lenses, which most people are, but again, we're manufacturing these products in our manufacturing facilities, so this is kind of just FYI. These will be available in probably the February, March time frame. Next, next slide, Kristen. Uh, next slide, Kristen. Next one. This is just going to go into some uh, illustrations that we have. Next one, Kristen. So again, this is just, we have a lot of application, like a lot of application type illustrations that we have because customers have asked us, you know, where do your switches work? Where do your access points work? What's the scenario, you know? A lot of this is common sense, but when you see, like, oh yeah, that's right, they do need this, they do need that. At least for me, it's usually pretty helpful. So this is just a small example of a little work group solution in a growing or large company. You know, as the company grows, they'll need to quickly add new group, new work groups or teams or company networks. You know, eight port, 24 port, Smart layer two switch, quick and cost and effective way to get new work groups connected to the connecting productive. So, so you have you add switches, you're adding you know, some of our access points for wireless users, um, for wireless printers. You might have a vo voice over IP phone system. You might have some cameras floating around. It's all different things you can use out there. So, and this is for like more more of a smaller type environment. Um, next one, Crystal. Again, this is just another uh, little example of a small real estate office. You know, brokerage firm, investment firm. You get one of our um, our routers in, a, in conjunction with one of our switches, with in conjunction with one of our cameras and our access points. You know, add a, add on a NAS drive. So there's all the different devices that you can kind of bundle together. Even if you're not bundling all ingenious the products, I mean, it's always good when you're talking to your customers, say, hey, you know, if they ask you for a switch, okay, what's the switch, what are you plugging into the switch? You know, if they're asking for an access point, what are you plugging the access point into? You know, what are you doing for your cabling? You know, what are you doing for your backup? You know, what are you doing for your phone system? And, you know, chances are nine out of ten times they're going to be like, oh, yeah, it's covered, but at the very least, what I usually try to position myself for in the future when customers do need them. You know, at least they know, oh, yeah, that's right, they, you know, in Genius mentioned they have a switch, or in Genius mentioned they had a camera, and, you know, I'm willing to take a look at it. Uh, maybe the one I'm getting is having availability problems, or there's a certain spec that I'm looking to meet, and we can uh, fit fit those types of voids. So, next one, Crystal. Uh, next one. There you go. Okay, this is another example of a design firm, and an architectural firm, advertising firm, things like that. So, again, we're just kind of nailing home slides over and over again, just to kind of get in here, get in people's um, thought process of, hey, you know, remember this IP camera, um, maybe you need more about dual band radios, uh, you know, NAS drive, the router, the whole package. So we're able to cover pretty much everything um, that a small business needs. Um, moving forward, we're going to be actually able to cover the, um, the larger type businesses because in the spring time frame, we're going to have some cloud products coming out as well as some controller type features that are going to be built into our products. So. Um, next slide. Okay. Again, just another another uh, example. This is a strip merchant mall, boutique, or a cafe, diner, you know, what have you. Um, Bundling one of our routers with one of our switches with some of our cameras. And in this case, you probably want to put one of our 210 or 202 AXTs because you want to go outdoors. So picture like a Starbucks out in front of it. If you if the Starbucks has a really big parking lot and the Wi-Fi inside is not reaching that far, you might want to use one of our 210 EXTs, plop it on the front of the Starbucks, you'll be able to go well into the parking lot, you know, well into the parking lot, probably covering most of the parking lot, and then the customers are able to um, get their Wi-Fi and, you know, spend more money, which is what it's all about, so. Um, next one. 
again, the 210 XT I just spoke about that a little bit. It's ideal for the um, for the coffee type coffee type scenario. It's ideal for the marina type scenario. If you have a boating dock, things like that, because it is IP68 rated, it's able to stand up to the elements. You know, if it gets you know salt water on it, if it gets you know rained on, snowed on, it'll get you. Like I said, it'll get you anywhere from four to eight hundred feet of coverage, typical, depending on the environment, things like that. So, um, next one. Yeah, this is a little, again. We're just talking a little bit more about our our application. So we've done very very well with oops, we've done very very well with hotels. So customers, like I said, with uh, smoke detector look, that um, saucer type look, customers have loved our units in the hotel environment. You know, we've done tons and tons of business in hotels. So a natural progression is we're going back to these customers and say, hey, you know. When you are looking at our access points, you know, don't forget we have switches. And they're like, oh, okay. And the customers in the install base that has our access points, and if they're looking to replace their switches or upgrade and go to the newer technology, position ourselves is there as well. So this is a little example. You know, 5110 is an eight-port smart switch, has the 802 ATAF connections, and cascade, cascade down from the existing switch stack from its, uh, the SFP ports. To be able to put one of our dual band access points in there. So what does that mean? You know, at the end of the day, more guests and staff can get on the hotel's internet, and that's what it's all about. It's all about having. They don't want to worry about this stuff. They just want the Wi-Fi to work. They don't have to worry about it because they don't want to get calls. Because when the Wi-Fi is down, there's been some research done that hotels' um, ratings go down on things like TripAdvisor and Yelp. And they're literally the ratings will get down, and one of the Big reasons is the Wi-Fi. So by eliminating that issue, you're able to, um, you know, get your customers and uh, your hotel customers in a better position. So um, next one. Okay, this is just a little uh, illustration of a one of our dual radios. So the ENA 700 EXT again, it's a um, IP68, so it's a um, the waterproof housing. So you have like a little college campus. You're bridging the signal with the five gigahertz, and then rebroadcasting with the 2.4. So as you can see, um, those are they're looking at each other, so they have a clear line of sight. So you you're using like um, a bridge and um, an access point at the same time. So with this, with the existing antennas, again, you know the coverage you're looking at maybe eight to 1,200 feet. If you do want to go further, you just need to look at upgrading the antennas to possibly directional antennas with higher gain. Uh, next one. Yeah, now we're going to talk a little bit about our consumer products. I'm not sure how much you folks get into the consumer type, but we have a, um, you know, again, just like the access points, just like the um, bridges, just like the phones, high power and long range. So customers love these. Our relatives can typically cover large homes fairly easily. So um, next slide. Yeah, we have this technology. It's uh, called Ingenious Cloud. So you can control your devices connected to an Ingenious Router, manage your home network when you're away from home, access, stream, share, things like that. Basically, what does that mean? It means um, you can, through an IP address, and other manufacturers, I believe, have this, or an app called NShare, you're able to access your data at home through the router. So say you're, you know, your, your home is New York and you're in California and you have some data or some songs or some movies or whatever that you want to access from home, basically you go through um, an IP address. I think you have to set up a little login. It's free, and you're able to access that type of information. It's secure. It's a secure VPN connection, um, wireless and an AC speeds, you know, performance, competitive price, you know, marketing terms. Um, so it's pretty cool technology. Um, next slide. As you can see, yeah, this kind of just illustrates a little more. Download, upload movies, music files. If you're away and you have a bunch of pictures, bunch of pictures that you want to show your family across country, you didn't, you couldn't fit them all on your phone. You can kind of access them from a computer. You can stream content. You can 
You can actually remotely monitor network status and things like that. You can do things like um, monitor your the temperature of your pool. You know, any type of devices that might be connected to your network, your um, temperature inside your house, all kinds of things like that. It's all the the, the um, options are pretty limitless. It's pretty cool. And then again, also we have an we have an app um, called Enchia for the iPhone, and I think the um, the app is going to be coming out for the Android. If not yet, it's coming out pretty soon. So, um, next one. Yeah, this is just that quantum beam technology I was talking about a little earlier. So when an ingenious cloud, you know, router, you know, discovers a, a client, it finds the most efficient path to the device and focuses its radio signal beam on it. So, you know, it's just kind of a it's, it shoots at like a straight line, like a straight arrow. So when you're going straighter instead of going circular, you're able to get more efficient, um, faster throughput, faster speed, more secure connections. And it's you know, and when you're doing video and things like that, it's critical that you don't you know you're you're sending it at a high uh, rate of speed. It can um, if you have drop offs and things like that, or it goes fast and slow, it, it can tend to mess things up. So. It's um, excellent technology. It's a really cool product. So, um, next one. And this is our router lineup. So the, the quantum beam is more on our new routers, the 1200 and the 1750. So those routers are actually. Um, what do I have on my list here? Those routers, I believe, are they shipping now? Yeah, I believe they're shipping now. Yeah, actually, they are shipping now. So yeah, so they are shipping. It's the, they are shipping now, um, but as you can see, we kind of run the gamut on every router, I mean, in terms of product set. The ESR 300, which is our entry-level router, up to the 1750. The 350, similar to the 300, single band, has gigabit port. 600, 900, as you can see, um, the, everything is kind of going to dual band in general, whether it's a router, access point, um, bridge, they're all kind of going in that direction, but there's still a um, demand for the lower single band because probably big thing is the price. So um, 600, 900, 1200, 1750, you could pretty much fit into what your customer needs depending on what they need. If they don't need AC, you know, you don't need a 1750. If they don't need the cloud, you know, you don't need the 1200 or 1750. And um, gigabit ports is coming pretty much standard at this point. So um, next one, Crystal. This is just some other, I'm not going to spend a lot of time. These are little USB adapters. They're pretty cool if you know, kind of increase your range. So they look at them as like little power boosters. So if you're at like a coffee shop or in a hotel and maybe you're getting one or two bars on your Wi-Fi connection, you plug in one of these and it'll bring you up to maybe three or four or five bars. They're really cool. They're really inexpensive. They're like 40, 50 bucks. And with the AC, it's going to come in handy because um, a lot of laptops, you know, the legacy product does not have the AC cards in there right now. So with the new access points becoming more and more AC, you know, you're only as fast as your your strongest, your, your weakest point. So if your access point is shooting out, at, you know, 1,300 megabits per second, or whatever the number is, and your laptop is only capable of 300, and those, those are obviously theoretical numbers. Um, you're only going to get to go down to 300, but if you have the AC adapter in that, it's going to go up to the higher speed. So those that's where it's going to become really popular, I believe. But eventually, you know, all the laptops are going to start having the AC um, cards built into them anyway. So, okay, next one, Crystal. These are just some again some little media ports, switches, and things like that. I'm not sure if you get folks who do a lot of the retail type stuff. These are good for um, uh, CDA type dealers, people going into homes, um, audio video type people, AV type, AV market where the requirements aren't as robust and they don't have a lot of, they can't always wire so they might need repeaters and range extenders and things like that to kind of enhance or extend the range and they don't really care about the throughput as much. So, But those are available. Uh, next one. Yeah, I'm just going to touch it a little quickly. You know, people probably want to know where, where are you guys successful, where have your products been sold, how have they been sold. I'm going to go through a couple of them here for you guys. And this is all on our website. If you go to ingeniustech.com, all this stuff is here. 
like I said, feel free to reach out to any of the folks at Microcom, and they can um, find me, and I can get you any type of data sheets or whatever that you need. Um, next one, Crystal. And again, it's just a uh, typical, you know, we had a marina, um, they needed to get their Wi-Fi better. So what did they do? They did a little bit with our um, ENH 500 abridging, and we talked about that so that I can get you about a mile in combination with our 210 EXT outdoor access point. So there's an affordable solution, um, an identified solution that delivered performance and range, and able to de deliver devices to all areas of the property. So that 210 EXT is really, really hot. It's for those marinas, like I said, because they can stand up to the elements pretty well and the range is pretty crazy. So that's just one example. These are all on the website too. Uh, next one. Give you an idea, San Diego uh, CCC pros, so they uh, had a, again, this is a lot of these um, uh, security type guys. They have a camera solution and they're getting more and more to IP cameras. And, but they don't really trust products that will work, so they're trying the E&H 500 and people love them. So perfect solution for what they're doing and they use them on an ongoing basis with their cameras and hopefully pretty soon with our cameras. So uh, next one. This is really cool. I think this really kind of legitimizes us. Um, this, is, this is some of our older products, so it's not, um, you know, it's our last generation probably. But this hotel is right downtown in Manhattan. It's right in Times Square. So it's a really cool hotel. It has like funky stuff with like robots that come in to check you in. And, but they use our ingenious. So we're at like a high profile. You know, this is not a cheap hotel to stay at. And they went with us. And the reason they went with us is um, our product, they get the coverage, the reliability, the penetration, the users. And they can trust it. They don't have to worry about it. So we worked with one of our providers out in uh, on the East Coast who provided some additional services, um, but basically used our hardware to um, deploy the solution they're looking for. Uh, next one. Yeah, we're, we're pretty hot with these mobile hotspots too. So you heard about like Katrina and Sandy and things like that. So some of these. Um, on these satellite type vehicles, they've been using our uh, access points and our phones through satellite connections to get Wi-Fi and phone connections. So this is one in near Calgary, Alberta, that, that used our our, um, our access point. So uh, next one. Yeah, this is actually right in Louisiana. So I think this was either right before or right after um, Katrina. I think actually, no, I think this is in place before Katrina. So they had our stuff in place. Um, they had one of our phones, they had one of our access points, which we're able to give them in the event of emergency. They, they uplink a satellite and they're able to get um, the connections for both and in the event of an emergency. So these mobile devices, these mobile um, emergency response devices, are pretty hot market for us as well. So it's kind of a niche market, but we do run across it. Um, we do have a good solution, especially on the phone side. Um, next one. That's it. One more, and this is again just a little RV park over in Anaheim, it's kind of near Disneyland. Twelve acres, two hundred ninety-three RVs. As you guys may know, RV parks are extremely challenging because they're typically like tin cans, and getting signal through tin cans is very, very challenging. So they were able to set up a network with some of our ENH five hundred, the bridging. And then hooked in some of our dual radios, which is our 7530. They're able to provide the um, access throughout the entire park. Uh, next one, I think that, I believe that's it. Yeah, that's it. Again, I appreciate everybody's time. And um, I know we kind of went really, glossed over a lot of information here. But like I said, feel free to reach out to myself. Um, I've been with Ingenious about five years. Before that, I was with HP Procurve. So um, we have the resources here, engineering people, salespeople. You know, we'll get on the phone with you, with your customers, help them figure out what they need. You know, look at designs, look at pictures, look at graphs, and um, you know, try to find them the best solution. Um, you know, because that's what it's all about. So, again, thank you for your time. And um, you know, Crystal, I guess this board any questions over. Uh, you don't want me to ask you now, so they can have the answer. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Ask any questions now. Sure, go ahead. 
<laughs> okay. Um, so let's see. What do you feel sets your company out from similar companies? I'm sorry? The question was, what do you feel sets you apart from other similar companies? Really easily. What sets us apart is our power. So um, it depends on the company, obviously. But if you're talking like D-Link, Link, Sys, Next Year, um, guys like that, where we're in that same, same price range, our power is about at least four times, two, three, four times more than those guys. So again, we're about 800 milliwatt versus a lot of those guys are 100, 200 milliwatt. So we fit very well. Our reliability is very, very extremely high. We have very, very few failures. Um, we're also the manufacturer, so a lot of companies, like I said, we build for a lot of companies out there, so we're able to control our manufacturing costs and able to keep that cost down. So, And we're also always um, trying to get on the cutting edge of technology because the other manufacturer, we have engineers and things like that as well. So um, it kind of depends on the competitor, but um, you know, we can play, you know, we, obviously we're not Cisco, <laughs> but a lot of these second tier guys we can play very well with. Okay. Um, the next question is what is your most popular product and why? I would say, what did you say, Tom, EAP 600? Uh, I would say EAP 350. Yeah. I would say EAP 350. It's our smoke detector look. Um, it's, mm -hmm. And the reason why it's high powered, it's a single radio, it hits a good cost point. It has penetration where you know it can get maybe down two, three, fours. It can be used in many, many, many different um, environments. You know, from a hotel to a small business to a uh, somebody's home. And um, yeah, so I would say the EAP 350, and the re main reason is the power, 800 milliwatt, and the performance and the coverage. Because um, at the end of the day, that's what people really care about. Is, um, most people, how far does it cover, you know, and it covers right. very well. Okay. Uh, how user-friendly are your products? Well, when you compare uh, with uh, other uh, access points, it's, you know, it's straight down the version of the most used functions. Uh, when you look at the computer with the Cisco Aeronet, you know, there is lots of now controls, you know, kind of overwhelming if you're not, you know, a Cisco certified uh, technician. So it's very intuitive and it's a GUI design, so you don't have to deal with it, uh, you know, command line base. It's very intuitive. So someone who knows network, the IT guy, will be able to easily catch up the, you know, the configuration. Perfect. Thank you. Um, are there any trade shows you'll be attending where I can see or they can see your products firsthand? Yes, we'll actually, we'll be at um, CES. Um, next month. So what I can do, Crystal, I can um, send you, um, I was supposed to do that last week, I'll send you a flyer, um, mm -hmm. let you know where we're going to be and you can, uh, people can feel free to stop by. We're going to have our, these products, some of our new products on display, ask questions, meet with people. Um, I'll send you all the uh, sweet information, things like that. Okay, perfect. That's the immediate one. We do shows all the time. That's the one, um, the, the, the quickest one we do. We do them all the time though. Absolutely. Okay, well, it looks like that covers everything. So thank you, Darren, for taking out the time and everybody who attended. Great. Well, thank you guys for so If you guys, here. one more, th sorry. If, if anybody listening has any additional questions, you can email us at sales at microcomtech.com. That's M-I-C-R-O-C. O-M-T-E-C dot com. Um, this will also be going up on YouTube, and you can review all the product information at microcom dot U-S. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, Thank you, for attending. Have a good day. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.